<laughs> Today is a random video. I just feel like <sighs> we've got some some serious things on my channel. Even even today, I mean today as in like today, not today for you, but today for me, I just uploaded a video which I feel like is kind of heavy. So I feel like you know what? <laughs> Did I <just> scare you? <laughs> you know what? Why don't we upload something that is a little bit more light-hearted and a little bit more. Just something, you know, like funny or something like that, you know. Even though I can't be energetic because it's night time, I would love to be, but I can't. But I'm still going to be as energetic as I can and tell all of these stories to you. And hopefully, I don't know, make you laugh or, you know, just take you away from the worries of this world and come to the Christian camp. <laughs> and just, you know, enjoy yourself and just hear something, hear a funny story. I don't know. So, oh, sorry if I scared you. I hit my leg there. <laughs> so today, I guess I'm gonna tell you some motion sickness stories because what else do you want to hear? What else do you want to know? It's such an interesting thing, right? We would love to hear about motion sickness stories. I don't know, I just feel like I never saw anything like this on YouTube. I'm trying not to be like the other girls, you know? The other girls do these beauty videos. I do motion sickness videos. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. I'm just kidding. I have motion sickness. I've had motion sickness since I was a kid. And I feel like it's not addressed enough. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I just feel like, I don't know. People don't really... I don't really met someone. I don't think I've met someone who has motion sickness. Maybe I did, but I don't know. Like I said, it's not talked about enough. But anyway, I do have motion sickness. I had motion sickness since I was a kid. I'm still a kid. <laughs> what am I saying? Since I was a smaller kid. Like this size. Oops. Like this size. I'm still this size mentally, by the way. In case you didn't know. <laughs> so yeah, I had motion sickness. And I remember... <sighs> I can't remember from when I was super young. But I do remember that. I used to, oh, there's this one time we went to Damai Beach. We want to go to the beach. And then I vomited. And I think I came out of the car. Because it's like one hour, two hours drive, right? And to the beach. And I can't, like at that time, I can't, I can't go in a car too long. Because I will vomit. Trust me, I will vomit. So yeah, I came out of the car and throws just on the, on the grass there outside the hotel, you know? And yeah, that's one good memory. Another memory is, I don't know where were we going, but we were in the car also for a long time, I guess, or maybe even a short time. I don't know, man. My emotion sickness is just crazy. <laughs> I remember we, it wasn't just me, it was my family and also my cousins, I think, in the car. And I, but we had a plastic bag because my family, I think they always used to bring the plastic bag last time if they know we're going to travel somewhere far because they knew this kid is going to vomit. So they used to prepare. The plastic bag not in case i vomit but when i vomit you know for when i vomit because it's gonna happen trust me you know so they used to prepare and then and then they look at me like you know me my face are really like <laughs> take the plastic bag <laughs> so yeah i think i have some more memories <laughs> there are many memories of me vomiting in the oh <gasps> this is a good one so when i was nine or ten me, my auntie, and my grandma, we went to Sabah. And it was my first time in Sabah. It's cool. I love Sabah. I would love to go back. We went to KK only. Huh? Typical, right? Only go to KK. <laughs> only go to the capital. I'm sure there are many other beautiful places in Sabah. But we went to KK. And so we went. And then we were in this tour guide punya van. You know, the van is going to bring us. And inside the van is the driver, driver Malik. And then the tour guide, she was a very nice woman. I, I forgot her name, but she was very nice. And so we were on, we were in the car on the way, either on the way back to the hotel or on the way going to the hot, from the hotel to somewhere. And then I vomit in the van. The reason is I drink Milo before that. Manila, I tahu that vomit and that Milo will make me muntah. But it did. It came without warning, I think. So it, there was no plastic bag. The, so you can imagine lah, it's just me behind, I think it's behind the driver's seat. Yeah, so the van was blessed by my vomit. And so we had to stop somewhere to clean the van and we had to wait for a while. And I remember like actually the tour guide didn't want us to pay but then they paid. Because I think the driver wanted us to pay. I understand that. <laughs> I drew it. I ruined his van, okay? And then we had to buy new baju because my baju is already like, you know, kena muntah. So me and my auntie went to the kedai to buy baju. 
and actually the baju that I was wearing is so nice but then we had to took off so we had to buy a new baju and it's a Peter Pan baju it's color green yeah color green and then that's from that actually it's from that moment that I knew that I cannot drink Milo before I go in the fan or go flight or something like that we learn things the hard way you know sometimes we just need to learn things the hard way so yeah I learned that through vomiting in the van I remember a few times vomiting in the plane I've been on the plane a few times since I was a kid and I remember vomiting on them more than once and I remember one time I'm on the way to Cebu actually I was on the way there for a camp with my badan uniform girls brigade and so I'm yeah, I vomited in the plane on the way to Cebu. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's on the way back, I think. I think. <laughs> There's more memories than that. Wait, I'm trying to think. One time, I remember I'm coming back from KL, and I'm muntah in the plane, and then there's this one auntie, she's Malayu, sitting next to me. She was so nice. She was like rubbing my back. She was super nice. And, but she's that kind of passenger who's like very friendly. And, but she was nice. I mean, I like I like her. Hi auntie, if you're watching. <laughs> and she had an Anna also. And yeah, basically more than once did I vomit inside a plane. And then I remember there's this one time. This is the most funniest one to me. <laughs> but maybe the way I tell it, it won't be funny. But in my head, it's funny. It just happened two years ago. It's so weird. It feels like yesterday. So basically, I was going to a camp. Cebu. Cebu again. Yeah, Cebu. Yeah. This is... Two years after the camp before that in Cebu, the one that I told you that I vomit in the plane. Yeah, this time it's two years later and it's in a bus. So I'm going there again for a camp, but this time it's with a lot of my friends and we were in the bus. But next to me is a stranger because I, I think we cannot choose the seat. God. So next to me is a stranger, but then yeah, like, we all like spread out in the bus. Some of us were sitting together. I think most of us were sitting together. Lah. Like, yeah. So anyway, we're in the bus on the way to Cebu and somewhere in, in the midnight, People were sleeping already, the bus still jalan, right? And then people were sleeping already. And then I feel like, I feel sick and I'm like, Oh no, oh no, please no. You know, like, when you know it's going. By this time, my emotion sickness is actually not that bad anymore. It used to be worse when I was younger. When I used to muntah in the car on the way to the beach and all that. Yeah, that used to happen when I was small. And then now it doesn't happen anymore. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it has been a while since I had a motion sickness incident, you know, at that time at the time of the Cebu camp. So we were on the way there in the bus and I was feeling it happening. I was like, no. <laughs> no, not you. And I think I knew it was gonna happen. Like, you just know, right? When you feel it's starting to creep. <laughs> and so I think I I wake up my friend at the at the front there, Elder C. And I'm sorry, Elder C, I, I feel so bad. I think I wake up and I say, I don't feel so good. And then, I, I don't know lah. And then, I think she woke up another person, woke up another person, who woke up another person, I don't know. But basically, someone I think gave me a plastic bag, I don't know. Did I muntah? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did muntah. <laughs> the whole bus woke up because of me and the bus actually stopped because of me. <laughs> they stopped the bus for me. And yeah, I woke everyone out in the middle of the night. Everyone is sleeping already, they had to wake up because this girl is vomiting. You know, and then... And then this one GP captain from Cebu, I think she one of her girls gave her this motion sickness, uh, punya tablet thing, and then I makan, and then done. What are this? I mean, I remember some other things like many vomiting incidents, especially in the plane. Something about planes, dude. Last time, like my family used to prepare, you know, plastic bags for me, and you know sometimes the plane has the vomit bag, the vomit bag. I used to know I'm going to use that, you know, this is a thing that I'm going to use because I just knew it was going to be used because my motion sickness at the time is not that great. <sighs> so, now, where am I with my motion sickness? I'm not sure because in this MCO, this quarantine, I haven't gone out a lot, especially long distances, so actually I don't know how bad is my motion sickness, but it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. La. Like this, I think the last time I uh, vomit in a like uh, in a bus or in a plane or whatever is that Cebu one that I just told you the one in the bus after that nothing has happened yes I've gotten headache actually I got headache many times in a car uh, but that's the most it went I never muntah anymore and I guess my motion sickness is a little bit more better now and I just feel like it's something 
interesting to tell you because like I said I don't really feel like people talk about motion sickness like I don't know I never saw I don't know <laughs> if you have motion sickness please comment down below so that I'm not alone you aren't gonna leave me alone it's so guy. so yeah that is it for this random video I just feel like it was something random to tell you because of some of the heavier stuff that I filmed recently so why don't you just tell you something random like this you know motion sickness please comment down below if you have it because I don't want to feel alone and I've had it since I was a kid so I've been alone for a very long time okay please save me from this loneliness so bye bye <laughs>